Hello YouTube, James Hawk here, and I'm going to be showing you how to do advanced camera movements in um, Cinema 4D. Alright, first we're going to go to the render settings and make them 1280 by 720. And the save, we'll just make it camera movements, save, replace. Alright, now we're going to go AVI Movie and Intel YUV. Whoops, what the heck. Intel YUV, alrighty. And let's make the frames, for right now, 160. Alright, let's exit out of that. We're going to do MoGraph, MoTeX, James. We're going to change the font to Mamafatu. Hit me up, James Hawk 101. Alright. Sent that in the middle. Double click down here, create a material, and I'm gonna make it a red. Uh, not transparency. Reflection, make that a red also. And just throw that on the thing and see what it looks like. Alright, cool. Light. Alright, I can't get that. There we go. Stretch it back, lift it up, stretch it back some more, lift it up some more. And just bring it over and render it. Alright, cool. Now, we're gonna create a new material and make it a green. And reflection, green. And make it super bright and let's go add a plane oh whoa what the heck alright plane make it super big and just go ahead and drag that on there and see what it looks like now see that looks a little weird so we're gonna add some blurriness to that turn down the brightness a little that's a little too high Blurriness, go put this at, I don't know, 20% is probably pretty good. And render it out. And that looks pretty good. Alright, now for camera movements, go down here to light. And go ahead and add a camera. And then go to cameras, scene cameras, and click here. And now your screen becomes the camera. First, let's just zoom in a lot and create a keyframe. Stretch the keyframes out to 20 and just go ahead and zoom out. Add a keyframe. Now, let's just go to, th let's say 35 and move this up. Add a keyframe. Go to 4 50. Move this down. Add a keyframe. And then, let's go to 65, and just center it out a little, and zoom in a little. There. Now, let's stretch this out to 160, because that's what we put in. We can change that later if I, we have to. And let's go to 75. And now, we're just going to want to go up here, click this button, and go to the top view zoom out a little and go onto the rotate tool and now let's rotate it 180 degrees just go ahead down here and make sure it says minus 180 degrees whoops minus 180 degrees oh my god minus 180 degrees stop playing minus 180 degrees apply keyframe. Let's make sure this worked. Yep. And now go to 90 and then just make it a positive zero and apply. And add a keyframe. So now when you look at it, go back, up and down, spin, back and forth, and go back. Let's go watch it from the camera point of view. Out, up, down, spin, and you're out. See, that runs on a little long, so we're going to just 
stretch out some of the camera movements. So pretty far apart. Just to make everything a little slower. And let's try this. That is much better, but it still runs. No, it probably runs about right. Okay, so make sure everything's right here. That looks good. Alright, and we're going to go back and go ahead and render it out. I'll be back when the rendering is done. Alright, now that rendering has ended, we can just exit out of this. Go ahead and save this. And I'll just leave it as entitled. It's not that important right now. And I'm just going to go look in my file and make sure it's there. And let me rewind a little. Boom, 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 dee. And there it goes. And that's how to make advanced camera movements. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos.